from DailyDoseOfWeirdNews.com, I'm Darren Marlar, and this is your Daily Dose of Weird News. A quick reminder, this coming Saturday is my official live chat, my first one. It's taking place May 6th at 3 p.m. Central Time. That's 4 p.m. Eastern, uh, 2 p.m. Mountain, 1 p.m. Pacific. We'll do a, a Q&A, of course. Uh, I might have a weird darkness story to tell. And every single person who joins the live chat will have an opportunity to download my uh, one and only live stand-up comedy album, Truth or Darren. It'll only be available during the live chat, though, and once the chat is over, the link I share during the live broadcast will be changed. It'll no longer work. So tune in live or you miss out entirely. That's this Saturday. I hope you can join me. The world's oldest man who claimed to be 146 years old has died in Indonesia. Sadly, just when he was finally able to afford retirement. A former FBI translator working in Detroit secretly flew to Syria three years ago when she married an Islamic State terrorist leader that she was supposed to be investigating. The bride and groom promised to love, honor, and cherish each other until suicide bombing death do them part. The Trump administration is planning to roll back nutrition standards for school meals. In fact, Twinkies will now count as a vegetable. Morgan Joyce Varn is a 24-year-old mother in North Carolina, and her mugshot just went viral thanks to her choice of tattoos. Now, it's not the little heart on her left cheek or the floral decoration around her neck or even the writing above her left eyebrow or whatever that's going on with her forehead that have people so stunned. Nope, it's more the fact that her eyeballs have been tattooed. Varn was taken into custody along with Jonathan Mikhail Robinson on charges of kidnapping, armed robbery, and property damage. It's alleged that she mugged a man taking his mobile phone and money before inviting him into her home. Oh yeah, and, and did we mention that she let someone stick needles in her eyes? Austria is trying to figure out a way to tax Google searches. No, that's not a joke. Austria is trying to figure out a way to tax Google searches. Are we getting a little over-terrorist paranoid in America? I mean, obviously, we always want to err on the side of caution, but Colgate University they went on lockdown and students were ordered to remain in place for four hours Monday night while police investigated reports of a gunman on the upstate New York campus. There was a guy with a gun, all right, but it was a student using a glue gun for an art project. <sighs> oh, well, you know, what do you expect from a university named after toothpaste? ABC is going to bring back the gong show with Mike Myers hosting. Okay, if he says showing or groovy baby even once, I'm going to gong him and change the channel. A robotic drill could be the future of surgery and could help cut the time of a routine brain operation from two hours to two and a half minutes. Developers believe the computer-driven tool, which works like Google Maps, could play a pivotal role in future surgical procedures. Because this is exactly what we want – complex life and death brain surgery done as fast as possible. Yeah, I got a tea time in 15 minutes, so let's do this! Police in California were forced to taser a man who got into a heated argument with his wife. The argument began when the man failed to notice that uh, she had had her hair done. All right, as a husband, let me say, yeah, th that, that would do it. A study says it is more energizing to walk stairs than drink caffeine. See, that's why I double down and only go to Starbucks on the second floor. A former Russian defense minister spokesperson says the Russians have been secretly planting nuclear bombs off America's coast so that they can be detonated, causing huge tidal waves that will destroy American cities. Well, wait a minute, is this a news report? Or is this a leaked premise for the next 007 movie? A New Jersey florist was arrested for stealing flowers from a cemetery. She claimed that she was simply tidying up the cemetery which is why she was wearing her usual nighttime gardening ski mask. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe if you want to see more. 
and click that little bell next to the subscribe button to be notified when I post new videos. And if you're already an official weirdo, please share this video with your friends. Hey, also, be sure to sign up for the Marlar Sheet if you're not already signed up. Everybody who is registered is automatically entered to win a monthly prize drawing. And for May of 2017, I'm giving away a Daily Dose of Weird News t-shirt and mug combo. And you can sign up for the Marlar Sheet newsletter free at DailyDoseOfWeirdNews.com. For more weird news anytime, visit DailyDoseOfWeirdNews.com. I'm Darren Marlar, and I'll see you next time, weirdos!